Hello everyone, Mike here, and welcome to another episode of Spiral Up! Seven years! That's a long freaking time! Seven years! I've been working on accomplishing something that I never even planned to accomplish. <laughs> now here's the deal, when I got going on what I got going on, I had no idea what it would actually turn into. What started as me simply working on my streetlight system turned into some massive friggin' project that I never would have imagined myself being a part of. Now here's the deal. In the real world, well in the other world, this is all real. In the other world, my work world, I'm a traffic signal technician and streetlight maintenance man. So I work on the things that make you stop and I help light up your life at night. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. <laughs> so, seven years. I've been working on systems to improve that said streetlight system. Now... I started this way back when because I felt like I needed something to do outside my assigned daily duties. And I was like, you know what? This thing needs some help. Let me work on this thing. So I developed technologies like a GIS mapping tool that's not only used by my department but other departments now to GIS map their systems. Streetlights, stop signs... Um, whatever, water meters, all kinds of different things. They're using the system that I helped create with the IT world, of course. I'm not the guy programming it, but I came up with the general idea of like, hey, this is what I want. I want it to be on this thing. I want to be able to press this button, press that button, tap, hold, drag it, enter my information, and save it. And they created the thing, and I used it, and a bunch of other people used it and took over. That turned into... Another project of, okay, now that I've got this stuff and I've got these streetlights that are all really close to each other, I need to create some sort of asset numbering system that's going to be unique based upon every foot. If I go a foot this way, it's going to be a different number. A foot that way, it's going to be a different number. I created that, yet again with the help of the IT department, but my idea was brought to life by others. Pretty friggin' awesome. Then... I got into creating an electrical safety manual. <laughs> then I got into cultivating training to support that manual. Then I got into this. Then I got into that. Then I got into that. Well, lo and behold, after doing all these different things, I eventually became a project manager for an LED streetlight change that went awry really fast and I found myself working with six plus different agencies and trying to meet their needs while meeting our needs. It was a big damn thing man. Super huge. And how did I do it? I did it by doing it in small little teeny tiny incremental steps. Little bits. Now there's a lady named Teresa Amabel. Amabel. I'm a bit, I'm a <laughs> I'm sorry if you're listening to this, Teresa. I bombed your name. Well, she's got an idea of microwinds. And that comes from her book, which sort of mirrors an idea from James Clear in his 1% better idea. We're not trying to improve some absurd amount. We're just trying to get a little micro win here, baby. Just a little micro win. And Teresa's book is called The Progress Principle. James Clear, his book's called The Atomic Habits. Little, teeny, tiny bit better. Microwinds. Now, I took those microwinds and I compounded them. And much like James Clear said, look, man, in 300 days, you're not going to be 300% better. You're going to be some absurd about number better because you're compounding that. And I took that. And then I found myself in these meetings where I was the peon in a sea of people way more qualified for me. And I'm the one doing the speaking for everybody. I'm directing the thing. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And I'm doing the other thing. 
And like, I would have never been there if I started any of this stuff to finish. I started it to start it because it was going to benefit myself and my department. And that idea is backed up by Tal Ben Shahar, who's an amazing dude who wrote the book Happier, The Pursuit of Perfect. And he believes, look, you got five minutes, pick something and start it. Don't start to finish. You got a bunch of weeding to do outside? Well, go outside and weed for five minutes. You got five minutes, right? You can go weed for five minutes. Get them weeds out of there. Don't just cut them off. Pull them out of the ground. <laughs> Now, that's what I did on every step of this thing. Little tiny micro wins, five minute increments. Don't start to finish, just start. Seven years later, here I sit amazed at what has happened and what is to come. Therefore, I ask you, do you got five minutes? Could you start something today? that you think would be awesome. Well, I suggest you do it. Teresa Amabel and James Clear back it up too. Get the Mike Owens in there and be awesome. Now I want you to think about that. More importantly, I really want you to do something about that. But whatever you do, feel better today. Well, getting better for tomorrow. Spiral up, everybody. Be awesome. Stay corona-free. We're going to see you later, everybody. Let me see if I can find the stop button. <laughs>